Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have got yet another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies video and today we are testing the Fennec 45 in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Obviously a Modern Warfare 2 gun and from what you guys have been saying, this gun is super, super powerful because it's got an insane fire rate and apparently it's just a crazy gun in general. So I'm very interested what this gun's going to be like. We've got a couple of zombies here that we can actually test it out on. So let's see how good it's going to be in the tier 1 zone. Oh, okay, with headshots, it's going to absolutely melt through zombies with no problem at all. Of course, like I said, it's got that insane fire rate. I'll quickly throw up the class on screen right now once these zombies are dead. So here you go. You can now see the class that I am running. As you can see, if you want to use it for yourself, there it is. But yeah, very interested what this gun's going to be like. As we just tested, it's very good in tier 1, but a lot of guns are. There's not really much of a test in tier 1. So what we're going to do is go ahead and chuck on the tier 1 pack of punch crystal straight away. And also, as you can see, I have got no gear at all whatsoever. No gas mask, go no large backpack, no armor plate, none of it. Because my game has crashed over and over and over again. And if you guys watched the video that I posted yesterday, you'll know the crashing problem that I've been having. It's been doing my head in. It's the most frustrating thing. I've been trying to record videos for you guys, like this Fennec 45 and all kinds of other videos that I've been trying to make. But I just haven't been able to because my game just keeps crashing over and over and over again. So hopefully we don't get that problem today. Hopefully we can get some cash together, jump straight into that tier 3 zone, get all the loot that we need, and then also put this gun to a good test as well. But a good test for this gun will be on the Mimic we're about to take down, which is a high-value target. So we can see what sort of damage this Fennec is going to be able to do against the Mimic. And see how quickly we can take out a Tier 1 bounty with it pack-a-punched up to Tier 1. Also, when you Tier 1 pack-a-punch it, of course, you're going up to 90 round bullets. And the name is going to change to the Kyobi, something like that, however you want to pronounce that. But yeah, that is the gun pack-a-punched. And of course, the biggest magazine you can put on at stock is a 45 round mag, which obviously gives us 90 rounds at the end of the game. So here we go, we've got the Mimic rolling up. Let's see how quickly we can melt through it. The fire rate on this thing is insane. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Let's see if the Mimic actually wants to come down and fire us down here, which it looks like it's going to, which is great because I should be able to just stand and absolutely spray at this thing and take it out pretty quickly. That is not too bad there. That is a really, really good fire rate. There we go, tier two armor vest as well. That is quality. It's exactly what I wanted to see. So I'm going to try and run through some contracts get this a tier 2 pack a punch then tier 3 pack a punch it and of course then end up putting that legendary a for tool on towards the end as well okay guys so we jumped into the tier 2 zone with it at tier 1 pack a punch i'm interested to see what the time to kill is going to be like on this gun and overall it doesn't seem too bad so far i'm not going to lie it actually doesn't feel too slow for being in a tier 2 zone at tier 1 pack a punch this guy's got the legendary a for tools and stuff like that so i'm assuming he's going to start doing a bit of damage to these we can take these zombies out pretty quick in the tier 1 zone. I can't lie to you guys. It actually seems to melt through these zombies without too much of a problem. We've got a mangler there who actually changed into our... But let me try and take some of these out before my teammates just rip through them. Like this, Because of the fire rate on this gun, the damage that it does is actually kind of insane. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Because the Fennec is... It's gone through stages where it's been broken, but it's also gone through stages where it's been a very weak gun as well. So I was kind of expecting it to be pretty weak in zombies. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it was crazy, crazy damage, but it actually feels pretty good so far. So we've got a mangler we've got to take down at tier one pack a punch. Obviously, we've got a full squad here that is going to be able to help us take this thing down with their tier three guns and stuff like that. But we weren't doing too bad of damage when we were shooting towards it. So I'm going to put one of these Aether tools on simply just to upgrade the rarity a little bit. And I do also now have enough to pack a punch up to tier 2 as well. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we can just see exactly what it's going to be like. Okay, guys, here we go. We've got another tier 2 pack a punch this gun now, which is going to be super, super good. I'm also interested in what it's going to be like in tier 3 at tier 2 pack a punch. Because like I said, with this fire rate, it's a very, very fast fire rate. Like it melts through these zombies so quickly because of how good that fire rate is. But it also seems to have pretty good damage as well as that fast fire rate, which sort of goes hand in hand with each other. Because having that good damage, but also an insane fire rate, just honestly makes the gun ridiculously broken. So I'm very, very excited to try this gun out, especially in tier 3, and see what sort of damage we can do in the tier 3 zone with this gun. And that's even at tier 2 pack a punch. I'm not going to tier 3 it straight away. I'm going to get into tier 2. I'm going to try it out with tier 2 pack a punch. Then we'll put the legendary effort tool on, and then we'll tier 3 pack a punch. I want to try and test this gun as good as I possibly can. But like I said, against these tier 2 zombies now that it's tier 2 pack-a-punch, it just absolutely melts through them with no problem whatsoever. The one thing I will say with this gun is you kind of do go through the magazine pretty quickly because it has got that fast fire rate. And of course, there's only 90 bullets maximum that you can get in a magazine once it's pack-a-punched. But even then, if we watch this disciple, like, wow, oh my days, this thing fries through bosses. That was ridiculously fast against that disciple right there. That was crazy fast. I did not expect it to be that good against the boss. I'm not going to lie to you guys. 
So we've now got a tier 2 bounty on a disciple as well. So we've got a tier 2 pack a punch in the tier 2 zone against a tier 2 high value target. Let's see what sort of damage we can start doing to this disciple pretty quick. Should be able to get its health down nice and fast. We've already done like a quarter of its health already. Need to get away while it's trying to heal off of me real quick. Can again just carry on spraying this thing at it. And the amount of bullets you can put into it is absolutely insane as you guys know. Everyone else is going to start rolling up now. So we should be able to start doing some decent damage and get this thing taken out. Pretty, pretty quickly here. There we go. It should be down in about two seconds. Perfect. That was absolutely rapid. Another perk for us to put on, which is great. Uh, I'll chuck that dead brain rot on. Why not? But yeah, we should now be sort of getting into a position where we go into that tier three zone and just see what sort of stuff we can do there. So we've got a bunch of tier three zombies coming through whilst we're actually doing this disciple. So I'm going to see what sort of damage it's going to do again. Okay, so we managed to take the disciple down pretty quickly. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking that. So I do kind of just want to jump into tier 3 right now and see what sort of damage we can do against those tier 3 zombies without it being a legendary A for tool status. So let's take down this armored zombie if we can sort of get it on its own. Okay, it's not bad. It is actually not too shabby. I'm not going to lie. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And again, that's no legendary A for tool. It's no tier 3 pack a punch or anything like that as of yet. So what we'll go and do is chuck a legendary Aether tool on, and then we can really start seeing what damage this thing is going to do in the tier 3 zone. So if we just drop back a little bit, start aiming for those headshots, we can start melting through these zombies. Wow, it's actually a lot better at tier 2 pack punch than I thought it was going to be. I do need to be a little bit careful of my health. But considering this isn't tier 3 pack punch yet, like it's actually very strong. It is pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be... Maybe not as powerful as what it is, but it doesn't seem too bad so far. Okay, so I just joined a new squad that are midway through doing an Outlast contract because I really want to test these tier 3 rewards as well. As I've mentioned in a couple of my previous videos, they said that they've upped the rewards that you get for tier 3 contracts. I just haven't been doing too many. So I want to see what sort of rewards we will actually get for completing something like this um, at this point on. And of course, it will give us enough money to pack a punch as well, which would be great. So we're going to try this out. We're in the tier 3 zone, as you can see, with it at tier 2 pack a punch. And it's, it's not too bad. It's not, not doing any damage. It's managing to cope with some of the zombies that are coming up near us. So we can do a decent bit of damage with this gun from not even... You don't have to be stupidly close to the zombies. You can still do a decent amount of damage to them. So for that, we're going to get a rare tool and shatter blast ammo mod, which really isn't that great at all. But what it is going to allow us to do is just jump up here and then we can tier three pack a punch this Fennec 45, which I'm super excited for. So it's now tier three pack a punch. We can really test what this gun's going to be like at this point because it's tier three legendary A for tool. I'm excited to see what sort of damage this thing is going to do to the zombies we come up against. And also pay attention, guys. My ammo reserve is at 1,350, which is absolutely insane, by the way. It's an insane amount of bullets to carry. I know you get through the bullets pretty fast with this gun because of how fast the fire rate is. But having that many bullets in reserve is absolutely nuts. So let's see what sort of damage we can do to these zombies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing's going to absolutely melt through the zombies that we come up against. Absolutely fry through them with no problem whatsoever. As you can see, we are just going to be able to absolutely melt through them. It's actually crazy how good this gun is. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I know you guys said it was good against bosses and things like that, but let's test it on this mangler real quick. See what sort of damage we can do to a mangler from up close. We should... Wow, not even one magazine and that, that mangler is gone. No problem whatsoever for this Fennec 45. It genuinely does melt through zombies, manglers, bosses. It seems to be able to do the business of all kinds of zombies. Like I said, it's genuinely caught me off guard at how powerful this gun is. I didn't think it was going to be quite as powerful as what it was. I thought it was going to be good because you guys recommended it. And majority of the time when you guys recommend me to use a gun in the comments, they are pretty powerful. But this just seems like unreal. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it's not great at range, which is one thing I will say. At distance, it's not the best. But if you're up close to zombies, like in an SMG sort of range, you're going to do really, really good damage and melt through the zombies and the bosses and things like that. Just ridiculously fast. It's actually kind of crazy how good this gun is. It's really caught me off guard at how good it really is. I didn't expect it to be quite as powerful as what it is, but it really is powerful and it is doing the damage that you guys said it would do. So I'm excited to see what sort of damage we can do to this mangler here if we get nice and close. I think we do have insta-kill, but I don't know if that makes a difference against high-value targets or not, but we are melting through it pretty quickly. So I'm going to assume that it does. But yeah, I mean, it just... It is crazy how good this thing is. So again, we're not going to get anything too useful to us. Um, I'll take another pack of punch crystal. I don't really need it, but there we go, I guess. So we've got a Mega Abomination just spawned in. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to a Mega Abomination. Let's let it start firing its lasers. Managed to take a head down pretty quick already. Get that mouth open a little bit more. See what sort of damage we can do there. 
It's not looking too bad so far. We managed to dodge him. Do managed to dodge him without even meaning to actually dodge him there, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, this thing just melts. Like, it actually fries through everything. I'm not going to lie. It feels crazy good, even against the Mega Abomination, that just completely despawned right in front of us. We both saw it. We all saw it. It just randomly despawned out of nowhere, which was not the ideal situation. I wanted to actually test it and try and take it out, but I guess we're not going to do that. But again, another tier 3 contract underway. We're going to test it out, see if we get better rewards. But so far in tier 3, guys, I really can't complain with this Fennec. Like, I actually, there's no complaints from me whatsoever. Like I said, at range, it's not great, but I knew it wasn't going to be good at range. It's an SMG. It's not meant to be good at range. You know what I'm saying? So, I wasn't expecting it to be some crazy, like, broken SMG AR meta that you guys can go ahead and use. I was just interested to see how good it's going to be because it's got that fast fire rate. It's got quite a big magazine, to be fair. Like, you don't seem to run out of ammo ridiculously fast. As you saw there, I can spray for quite a while without running out of ammo. So it's not too bad in that department, which I did think might be a bit of a concern for me. I did think that maybe having a smaller magazine might become a bit of a struggle for taking down these zombies, but it really doesn't seem to be like that at all. It's really not a bad magazine size for this gun, if I'm totally honest. So I'm just going to keep grinding through these contracts, doing as much as we can to get as many contracts done as we can, see what sort of loot we can get. And also just keep testing this gun as much as I possibly can as well. I do at some point want to actually take down a Mega Abomination without it despawning right in front of my face. That would be ideal. Uh, so we can really test the gun properly. And would you believe it, my game has just crashed yet again. So yeah, unfortunately my game crashed yet again. As you can see, I've got no recovery. I've got to wait for my insured slots. My Ed Legendary A for Tool, all of that sort of schematics are gone. So unfortunately I can't just load in, put it Legendary A for Tool, go straight into the tier 3 zone. But we did get to test it a little bit in the tier 3 zone. And I've got to say, it actually did feel very, very powerful. I'm a bit annoyed we didn't quite get to take down a full Mega Abomination because of that 1D spawning. But it is what it is. We managed to test the gun to a decent level. And I genuinely think if you guys go ahead and try this gun out, you're going to really, really enjoy it. Like I said, it's got a stupidly fast fire rate. It's got a pretty big magazine considering how fast the fire rate is. Like, you don't need much more of a bigger than a 90. It actually felt pretty decent. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to smash a thumbs up as it helps me out way more than you can imagine. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, check out the channel for the rest of the videos. Make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. And let me know which other guns you think I should try in the comments below. But I appreciate you guys watching and have a great day. And I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.